What else? Salesman was quite the surprise for me, and I'm so glad that it comes out on Monday mornings. That set a great mood for the rest of my day. When I watched Waru Salesman, which I wasn't planning on watching, and I only watched it because uh, one of my um, uh, pe one of the people that I follow on Twitter retweeted the opening, and I was like, "Ooh, this is one classy opening. Why don't I check this out?" and First thing that caught my attention was the art style. The art style reminiscent to that of Osomatsu-san, which was so refreshing for me. But when I read the comments on other people's reviews, a lot of people said that they're going to uh, drop it because of the art style. And I'm just all like, we still have those people around, why? Listen, I sat through all of Ping Pong the Animation, and when you can sit through all of that, you can watch anything. So it's one thing if you're gonna drop the anime because you don't like the the characters or you see it as too episodic and you're not really in the mood for something like that or you hate episodic series but dropping it because of the art style ah oh, i can't stand that i can't now sometimes the art style can't affect the tone and the mood that the steer that the series is trying to portray for example berserk 2016 the animation heavily affected the story and the presentation because of that but this it, this art style for What Wow Salesman helps sets the mood because it's not that dark. It's also, uh, it can be lighthearted at times. Like, I made a tweet saying that this is a more kid friendly version or just like a dumbed down version of Hell Girl. Hell Girl, in a similar aspect, for those of you who don't know, is about a story of pretty much like a, a demon girl who helps take out other people for revenge, but the catch is is that if you call for her, then you sell your soul to Hell Girl, and when you die, then you will be like living in hell forever. Hell Girl is also very episodic as well, but the reason why Hell Girl is in the horror category is because when she takes revenge, oh, is it gruesome, especially if you've seen the live action series. <laughs> That's some gory shit. In this case with Warao's salesman, he doesn't get revenge for people. What he does is that people make a, a deal with him for him to help them out and, you know, fulfill their heart's desire, but then it goes wrong in the end. Kind of reminds me of a couple of folk tales and fairy tales in the, pa in the past where, you know, people get this wish granted and they have like, you know, all of their heart's desires complete and everything. It's amazing. And then something goes wrong in the end and their life's completely ruined for the rest of their, you know, their time while being alive. This is a classic, actually, for those of you who didn't know, similar to that of Osamatsu-san. Because like Osamatsu-san, it was originally like a, a comic or just a, a classic manga back over in like the 60s, 70s, 80s. Then it got an anime series, over 100 episodes, quite the classic for its time. And now it is being remastered. And so a lot of Japanese fans were looking forward to this. If you've been paying attention to the charts, this was many Japanese fans like most anticipated anime of the season right behind Attack on Titan, and Attack on Titan was number one. It's definitely gonna be heavily episodic, no doubt about that. The formula of it is that with each episode we get two clients and we see what their heart's desire is and how it goes wrong for them in the end. And that's how you get your entertainment throughout the rest of the episode. You wonder how is it going to go wrong. You learn just enough about the character to know what they want and to know like their com their life story basically once you get a small piece of them you could understand them completely now could there be an overarching story like there was in hell girl because in hell girl's case at some point in the middle after it being heavily episodic there were these people trying to figure out how all these people were getting these like markings on their chest with th this marking meaning that they're going to be sent to hell and stuff like that. They were wondering where these deaths are all coming from. They were wondering how to stop Hell Girl. So perhaps there may be an overarching story in the middle to where someone's going to try to stop the Warao salesman. Or it's just gonna be episodic throughout. Maybe it will get darker and darker as we go along. I looked it up that this manga, that the manga that's based off of is a black comedy psychological thriller. So it could get darker some episodes here and there. So 
I'm not gonna review this anime because I know it's going to be heavily episodic for a couple of episodes and then maybe halfway through it'll get really dark like all oh, Yami Shibai if you guys know that uh, horror anime short. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll definitely be watching it on the side. I'll be tweeting out my thoughts as well. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description to that. And let me know your thoughts on the anime. Did you really enjoy the opening? Are you okay with the art style? Are you dropping it because of the art style? Are you gonna continue watching it? Everything, just let me know your thoughts. And catch me later as I review Little Witch Academia and Alice to Little Boo. I'm your female Otaku, Sayonara.